Next question is from Nina Worgen. Can you provide recommendations to improve the front rack position? Oh, the front rack position. You know, do you guys just kind of side, let's go on the side here real quick. Do you guys think that this is for most people essential? Do you think this would be beneficial for most people? Do you think it's not really that beneficial unless you, this is like something you want to train? I think to to get to a place where you can do the front rack is very essential. I think it's a, a talking about what the last, uh, the last question, just it's a fundamental uh, position you should be able to get your shoulders in. Mm -hmm. And most people can't because they lack the wrist mobility and the shoulder mobility yeah. Yeah. in order to get there. And so um, I, I think from that point of view, I think it's very fundamental and it's it's something that a lot of people struggle to do. That being said, uh, I don't think that you force it. I think you work towards getting to a place where you can do that. And I think it's in, I think just for good shoulder and wrist health, I think you should be able to do that. Yeah. I, I'd say the, the biggest thing that tends to hold people back is the wrist mobility, right? Is the wrist and, and mm -hmm. finger mobility. Wrist and shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a lot of stretches and movements you could do with your hands to work on this. If you don't have this mobility, take your time. I, this is something I have issues with. I don't even train it to be honest with you because I don't really want to spend the time working on it. But if I did, I would imagine it would probably take me at least six months of concentrated, you know, focused effort to be able to get in that position. Because if I did it now, there's no way I, I would, it would totally hurt my wrist. I, I think it's, it's sort of a keystone exercise in terms of unlocking a lot more exercises you can include in your programming. Um, you know, especially if you're getting in, into any kind of Olympic lifting or any types of more functional type of exercises as well. Um, but wrist health in general is something that I think a lot of people neglect and it comes back to bite them in the ass. Uh, and so to, to maintain that, I do find a lot of value in that. And there's ways to do it where it's gradual. So if you, you know, are able to access kettlebells and, and start there and just kind of uh, include these front rack kind of carrying exercises uh, and do that instead of like, uh, going with farmer carries, you, you can you can quickly sort of adapt uh, to that position. Um, you know, the more that you expose yourself to it, but obviously it has to be gradual and it has to be in a position where your wrist isn't like super aggravated. Um, but you know, there's lots of grades of of being able to get to the position where you could do you know a solid front rack front squat. Uh, you know, with a barbell, and that is something that you can aspire and achieve. Yeah. I, I also think it's one of those things that's we're getting. It's getting worse. I just think with phones and computers, it's yeah. You know, we're we're in that we're in this time where uh, you know, God, fast forward 10, 20 years from now, and it may be like what we were just talking about with the squat. Now, now everybody can't even get their wrist and their shoulders in that position anymore, and so. You know, another one of those areas of, you know, do we just accept that we can't do it and and, right. and yeah. find a crutch and use, you know, straps to hold it there or or do the, you know, cross your arms over and just accept that, oh, I don't have the shoulder and wrist mobility? Or is this a thing that we, we recognize that, oh, this is something that I want to be able to do as I get older because of what uh, problems may occur if I don't? And so working towards that, I think is important. I just, I mean, I'm not great at it, but, it, and it was an, an area though for, you know, my first half of lifting, I, I definitely used to cross my arms because I didn't have the good shoulder and wrist mobility to do it. Uh, but over time I've, I've gotten to a place where I can hold the front rack position fairly well. Um, but it takes constant work. Now what's cool though about, and why I like exercises like this, and then the pursuit of getting good at it, like the squat if you can, once you get there, so long as you just keep it in the routine, it'll help promote that good wrist and shoulder mobility, you know? Yeah. So if you get good at just like the deep squat, like I had to do a lot of work on my ankles and my hips to get to a deep squat. Now that I, I did all that work, so long as I keep those deep squats, it keeps good hip, hip health and good ankle health for me. Same thing goes for your, your wrists and your, that's why this front rack position I think is so great is it might take a little bit of work to get to a place where you can do this well, but once you can do it, so long as you just maintain that exercise in your routine, you should have pretty good wrist and shoulder mobility. Yeah, so here's something you can do to, to help. It's very basic, very easy. You can literally get a barbell, get up into the position to where you're in that front rack position, and then just hold that for time. But don't relax the wrists in the sense that it's just sitting on the wrist and bending it back. 
when you're in that position, activate your wrist. Actually pull them back and activate the front of the forearms so you're activating the muscles while you're sitting in that position. And then hold it for like 15, 20, 30 seconds and practice this on a daily basis. This is one way to kind of get more comfortable uh, with that position. Yeah. Do that, and also if you can get like some small gym towels and wrap it around, you know, the barbell, uh, and sort of gradually work your way down. Yeah, um, yeah. It's to, to grip it, so you have a neutral grip to start. If the wrists are really having a challenge with being able to flex like that, um, that's a good way to kind of gradually bring them closer to the bar, and then really challenge yourself to get, you know, your fingers to, to touch the bar and, and then maintain that position and just hold it isometrically. 